It's your brother Kosh Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect, 144 first fruit. Um, so you see on my screen, I got something here from the New York Post. It says, spiking fentanyl overdoses lead U.S. morgues to run out of space. <laughs> uh, this article came out today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, today, August 24th around 12 p.m. today. Uh, so this is just being reported. It goes to show you that, you know, the morality of this place is full of crap. Now, um, I think uh, Brother Tazamal down in Dallas, if he watches this lesson, Shalom, brother. Yeah, I just did a lesson pretty much going in on, like, how there's a poll or there's a study that shows most Americans are... Pretty much, pretty much not optimistic or about 2023, you know, they don't have, their faith is, is lost, you know, the morale is gone. So what happens? Spike in overdose cases, <laughs> fentanyl to be, to be one of them, you know, so I'm actually going to read this entire article. It's not too long. Uh, and then it's going to bring out a few point, like uh, a script or two and then call it a day. So it says America's fentanyl epidemic <clears throat> has gotten so bad that some mo morgues are running out of room. Let me zoom in here. It says from 6,000 synthetic opioid deaths in 2015 to a major jump from, from <laughs> to more than 63,000 in 2021, fentanyl is the biggest factor. It says uh, coroner's office, offices across the country say it's tough to keep up with the, the bodies piling up. The Marion County Coroner's Office in Indianapolis uh, blames drug overdoses in a part of their, their crowded morgue. It says that the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office in Chicago, more room and resources are needed during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now COVID-19 deaths have dropped, but the morgue still need that extra space because of the people killing themselves from fentanyl. So people... No, they're no longer getting sick. They're just real talk getting the drug and being like, screw it all. I don't care. I don't care if I see it till tomorrow. I don't care. I just want to get high. Just, you know, and, and the, that goes to show you the morale of this place. And it goes to show you that, you know, the Lord is doing a number on these people's minds. Let me take a little brief intermission from here and get Jeremiah 16 and 4 and just apply this. It says, um, matter of fact, Matter of fact, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna keep reading down because it's gonna that script's gonna hit a little harder once you keep reading here. It says the most common non-natural death is opioids. It's more than one, our number. It's more than our number of homicides. More than our number of traffic accidents. Said Cook County uh, Chief Medical Examiner. We really do live. We really do live in the valley of the shadow of death. You know what I'm saying? We really do. Psalm 23 and uh, 4 says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. But the point of the matter is the valley, a shadow of death. You see that there, man? That's absolutely crazy. Um, let me see. I think uh, another precept to this is uh, Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9 and 2 says, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light, have the light shine. Now that's speaking towards, you know, the men who got the truth and keeping the truth. We have a light that shine in the shadow of death. Because reading both Psalm 23 in this, it speaks of the shadow of death. Shadow is a covering of light. Okay. So we, we have light though. Our light isn't being covered in the land, the land. All right. Whenever you see land, especially when you read, I was at Zechariah 13, where it talks about the, in a third shall be left therein, in that land, in that land. That's speaking about America. So Psalm 23 and four and then Isaiah 92, that the land of the shadow of death, that's America. Damn right. All right. Like this, this is what's going on in America. And I, I guarantee you no other country has a statistic like this. All right. No other country has a st statistic just like this. Opioids killing your people. 
because they keep their people away from it. Don't get me wrong. There's fucking overdoses, overdoses everywhere you go on this planet Earth because Esau's ruined. Death is everywhere, but mainly in America, man. It says the most common non-natural death is opioids. It's more than the number of homicides, more than the number of traffic accidents, said Cook County Sheriff Medical Examiner Dr. Pani. I'm not about to fucking pronounce that last name. But that's that's the Cook County in Chicago. And he said that's more than the homicides. Chicago is piling up bodies like it's Iraq right now. So it goes to show you how many people are overdosing on opioids and fentanyl. It says opioid-related deaths in Cook County have nearly tripled from 600 75 in 2015 to nearly 2,000 last year. What is that, like a 200% increase? I don't know. Do the math. You know, it says most of them were related to fentanyl. These opioid deaths are preventable. All these deaths are preventable. Said, no, they're not. Because people are going to do what the fuck they want to do. You think you can prevent these things, getting drugs off the street and shit? That's not happening. It's not happening, okay? It says Chicago area residents Karen uh, Zander uh, lost her 22-year-old son, Josh Allen, to fentanyl poisoning. Zander said in 2016, Allen made the choice to snort cocaine that his best friend sprinkled with fentanyl, which ultimately killed him. It says these choices that that they're making are not able to learn from their mistakes because they're dying, said Zander. Right, and that goes. It's a, that's a clear, um, that's a clear contradiction to what this dumbass doctor said and how these opioid deaths are preventable. Xander saying no, they're fucking not, because it's the choice they make. I can't make them not make that choice. I can't. They're gonna do what they do, you know. And then just to finish off this article here, you just got a little bit more, and I'm gonna get these precepts. So Xander says fentanyl is a weapon of mass destruction. That fucking phrase is used loosely nowadays. Because really the real weapon of mass destruction is Esau himself, the self-proclaimed white man. That's who's the weapon of mass destruction, okay? Not no fentanyl and things of that nature. Yes, they do cause whatever, but Esau is the is the weapon of mass destruction. He's created the he's created the sword. The guns, the missiles, all of that. He's created these drugs. He's created uh, terrible neighborhoods across America and across the world. He's done all this. He is the weapon of mass destruction. It says it's time for us to wake up and get this stuff off the streets. Not happening, Xander. Sorry to, you know, spoil your fucking party, but it's not happening. It says another Chicago area resident, Caitlin whatever, says her 35-year-old brother, Ryan, accidentally overdosed on fentanyl last year. He didn't accident. It may have been, in a sense, an accidental thing, but he purposely put himself near fentanyl to take the damn drug. So is it accident, really? You know, it, it may seem like I'm not showing any remorse. And real talk, I'm not, because all these are choices from these individuals. Every situation that you get in, it's by, it, you had a choice. You had a choice whether to do something or not. You did. And your choices end up making certain situations later on down the road. You can make a choice today, and if the Lord so happens to keep you alive for another year, the choice you made today can affect you in uh, into that year. And it's true. It is very it is very true. Very true. You see? So it says uh, she now advocates for substance abuse disorders and fentanyl awareness. Fentanyl is a leading ca- uh, cause of death in the U.S. right now for ages 18 to 45. So let me stop there and go ahead and get this. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and 3. It says, For thus say the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are both in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land. They shall die grievous deaths. So this is concerning the sons and daughters of these individuals. They shall die grievous deaths. And if you ever seen someone caught up on fentanyl, they go through a suffering point before they finally uh, croak and die. I don't know if anyone's ever seen seen that. Matter of fact, let me try to find it and show you what happens. 
when someone uh, just sniffs fentanyl. When someone just sniffs fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let me see if I can get this up on my screen. Give me, give me a moment here. One moment here. Bear with me, Salaki. One second. Oh, there we go. This is what happens when someone's on fentanyl. I mean, medicine known as Narcan. We do want to warn you, what you're about to see is difficult to watch. I need Narcan! I got you. Dramatic body cam video capturing the moment Corporal Scott Crane of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department is promising his trainee, Deputy David Fivey, he's not going to let him die after Fivey was exposed to fentanyl while processing drugs at the scene of an arrest in early July. That discovery caught on Fivey's own body cam just minutes earlier. Yeah, it's, it's a powder. Um, it could be cocaine or fentanyl. It, 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 it tested together. positive for fentanyl. The synthetic opioid is 50 times more potent than heroin, and exposure to just a few small grains can have deadly consequences. In Fiavive's case, the exposure and his reaction to it was almost instant. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back, and he collapsed. I ran over to him, and I grabbed him, and... He was Odin. Corporal Crane was equipped with the nasal spray Narcan, a prescription medicine that rapidly reverses the effects of an overdose. Still, Five Eye needed more. Here he is, in his own words, still emotional. My lungs just locked up. I, 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 I couldn't breathe. I was trying to gasp for breath, but I, I couldn't breathe at all. Five Eye, you okay? Talk to me. Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Don't be. All right, so that's just a little example of what fentanyl does, you know? I don't know if any brothers saw that, but it, it, it's some fucked up shit what fentanyl can really do to a, a human body. It's not meant for you to uh, inhale, ingest, sniff, whatever it is, but these people are choosing to do it. Therefore, that's why you see in 2015 going from 6,000 cases to 63,000 cases. That's 63,000 more people, uh, 60,000 more people dying from fentanyl than what it was just a few years ago. That goes to show you there's something going on with the morality of this, of this place called America. It's declining because people are starting to hate it. And the truth is coming out about this place and people can't deal with themselves. So they turn to certain drugs like that. And that is how, this is how, this is how it affects the body. You saw him. He just locked up and fell down. Okay. And you see him right there. He just locked up and fell down and he couldn't breathe anymore. That's what fentanyl is doing. Okay. It says, um, so far, there's no sign of this deadly trend stopping the Cook County, you know, office still utilizes their refrigerated trailers for more, uh, more morgue space. So they're running out of morgue space. All right. This is Jeremiah 16 and 4 again. It says, they shall die grievous deaths. And that's a grievous death if that dude should die. His lungs lock up, can't breathe, heart just stops. You just suffocate to death, you know? It's like you're drowning with air, in air, you know? You're drowning on land. What kind of shit is that? That's what fentanyl does, you know? It says, um, they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcass shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. You see it. The morgues are running out of space. All right. The morgues are running out of space. And, and, and another precept I want to get real quick, because the 18 to 45, those are young ages. Those are real young ages. Okay. It reminds me of a, a book of Job. 
uh, chapter 36 and uh, 14, it says they die in youth and their life is among the unclean. Right. They die in youth. These people are dying younger and younger by the day. You see these rappers, over 200 rappers got smoked in 2020. And these dudes are ranging from fucking 18 to 25. And then you got fentanyl cases from 18 to 45. These are young ages. Young ages people overdosing right now. You see? This is goes to show you the morality of this place. We got to get the hell up out of here, man. We really do. And I guarantee you a lot of them cases are Jake too. Because Jake be selling drugs. You know? Jake be selling drugs. But you see, that's what fentanyl does. You know, that you can see why a lot of people die from that. The Lord, I'm going to be honest, the Lord have mercy on him here. Because he could have easily, he could have easily not have been here. You know? But, you know, Lord willing, that was edifying. And just give you an update of what's going on in this wicked ass society. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kashkwa, until the next time, Shalom and repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believed. Shalom.